Hello again and welcome. I'm Coach Greg. Thanks for joining me for another quick update video. In this video, I want to talk about Boston. I've just gone through and updated all of my Boston Marathon training plans with what I've learned over the last couple of years. I've always coached a lot of runners for Boston and every year I feel like I learn a little bit more and a little bit more to help athletes be even more prepared to run their best. And what I'm finding with these new strategies is that no matter the weather, which has kind of become an issue at Boston a few times, whether it's hot or cold and windy like it has been recently, you can perform your best. I've really nailed this down, so I wanted to share with you these new plans that are available to you. Um, the first thing is how to get to the plans. So if you log into Run Team, you'll land on your Run Team dashboard, which is here, and you can simply go up to Training Log and then Training Plans. You'll be sent to this page, and you can scroll to Step 2, enter your information so a goal distance we will say a marathon I'll leave this as level 3 combo runner but you can switch this to whatever you like uh, a recent race let's say I did a half marathon and let's say that was in two hours and I will oh let me put my goal time up here let's say it is 3.59 break four hours recommend my plan now you've done this before probably and you'll see here's the plan that will come up marathon planning training plan level three combo runner because that's what I selected now if you scroll a little bit lower underneath the preview options you start to see other versions of your plan and this is where you're going to now find the Boston marathon training plans these are the latest and greatest plans found right here so if you're a combo runner you would select this one Endurance Monster, this one, Speedster, this one. And again, there's versions for the Combo Endurance Speedster, and then there are different levels of plan as well. So that's how you would find it from the Run Team dashboard. If you are, by chance, in your training calendar and you want to get to this page, you simply go to the top under Training Plans, click Find a Plan, and now you're back in the same spot where we just were can enter your information, select recommend a plan, and you'll find that Boston plan and you can apply it to your calendar. Now, when you're in your calendar, there's this is the plan overall, and in the I thought I'd walk through some of the kind of neat things that are in this plan. And you'll see these once you get it loaded. This is a level four combo plan, but you'll find these concepts in all the different versions of the plan. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that I started to include some downhill strides, some more specific downhill training to get you ready for Boston because Boston mostly is about handling the downhills. It does have the uphills, the famous heartbreak hill, but it's really about conditioning your body to handle the downhills. So you'll see we start with some downhill strides and these are going to uh, come up throughout the program. You don't go crazy with these. It's not meant to you're running down a steep hill as you can see. It's 8 to 10 times 15 to 30 seconds on a moderately sloped downhill, 1 to 2% grade. That's not super steep. That's just sort of moderate uh, at about half marathon effort. So you're not sprinting these. You're just building into it, conditioning the legs. We'll particularly focus on this early in the plan. You'll also notice that on some of the workouts like this progression run, um, the coach's note will say, I want you to start doing these on some downhill routes. So as you do this progression run, you would choose your route to where you do the majority of it maybe on a flat to rolling terrain, but the fast portion of the last 10 minutes, you try to find another gentle downhill. Again, starting to mimic Boston and its uh, unique course. You'll also find that in the uh, long runs. I have several long runs with a downhill focus. So you're going to focus on uh, a course that you can kind of push downhill, kind of matches the Boston course. Again, just giving you a little bit more exposure to downhill running. Uh, this is a neat workout here, this hill workout. Now this is uphill and downhill repeats. So traditionally we've done a lot of uphill repeats to get our hill training in. For Boston we need to have that downhill as I mentioned and this is a fun workout that it combines uphill and downhill training. You'll see that a few times in the plan as well. 
again more progression runs where you start to see oh it needs to have a downhill finish so again just trying to condition yourself to be better and better and better at the downhill uh, finishes next let me find it is here you'll notice on some of the easy runs uh, this has a downhill focus so just like the long run we talked about before choose a course with rolling hills and you push the pace slightly on the downhills more conditioning for the body to be ready to handle Boston and of course when you get to sort of the uh, well-known fast finish long runs this is where you are to mimic the Boston course as close as possible so you might start searching out how can I link together some roots so that I've got a really downhill start, maybe flat to rolling in the middle, a little climb, and then a downhill finish, something that kind of mimics the Boston Marathon course. Uh, put together all of this across 10, 12, 14, 16 weeks of training to get ready for Boston will have you ready to handle the downhills. And trust me, if you can get your body ready to handle the downhills and your regular marathon prep that you would do, you will run extremely well in Boston. So if you're running Boston, uh, these are the plans. They're available for you now. You can follow the paths that I mentioned. Also, uh, I have special webinars that I'll be producing for the lead up to the Boston Marathon. You can find those on the Macmillan site, macmillanrunning.com slash Boston. You can get signed up so that you're alerted to when all of those webinars are going to be released. Uh, I'll be in Boston again this year as always. Very much looking forward to seeing those of you there who are running. And as always, let me know if you have any questions, but I'm super excited about these new plans and their ability to help you be optimally prepared for Boston. Take care.